the sawdust is gone, you put floors down, there's heating in the changing rooms, the showers work, the pictures have got grass on them. It's, a, it's a, a massive change, of course it is, and one I expected because it's been so long and there's a lot of growth and development in the right areas for the right reasons. In the infrastructure, and Coney Training Centre is the place to train and you've got to make the players feel as comfortable as they possibly can while they deliver their very best. So I expected changes, but hugely impressed with what's been going on here. The training aspect of what we do, you ask any former player, they remember the training sessions possibly more than they remember the games themselves that were always pressurised. But while you were here at Coney, you were relaxed, you were having fun, you were with your teammates. The camaraderie and the banter was at its highest and at its best. And so this is a special moment for me and um, I've, I've never forgotten what I've done for the football club. It always remains in my heart and always will do. It's uh, quite an emotional day really for me. Fed in by Newman and Robbins well forward and Goss was well forward too and Norwich have taken the lead. A scary one because it was 25 years ago. I, I, I lost my hair ages ago so I can't blame age for that. Uh, but there's more bags under my eyes and um, you kind of forget. You go off in your own little world and you've got your own different responsibilities um, in life when you're out of football. And you tend to forget what you did and what you've achieved. And Stuart Webber spoke very well there in his introduction of me to the team. Um, and I thank him for that because he's reminded me of what I did achieve and I thank him also for giving me the opportunity to speak in front of the current players which was an honour. Uh, the manager sat down listening to my words as well. Not many people get that opportunity uh, in front of them so a huge appreciation to both those people. I admire the way they play, I admire the the way they approach every single game. They give their heart and soul for the football club, which is obvious to see. That is, should be an inspiration to us all, and I believe it is. And that's the reason why, on top of them being gifted footballers, that they're top of the league. And I really, really wish that they just can continue this through now to the end of the season and be in their rightful place, a place where the fans deserve to be, this football club deserves to be, and that's the Premier League. It's lovely to be back today and I'm, it's so nice and so special uh, to still be remembered.